What is up guys? My name is Taylor and this is the Niska Projects. And in this video, I'm going to be making a Raspberry Pi weather station capable of reporting temperature, humidity, and barometric pressure to my web server and also to the Citizens Weather Observer program. So let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna have the Raspberry Pi at the core, and I have two sensors on hand that I'll be using, the BMP-180 and the DHT-11. The BMP-180 provides temperature and barometric pressure, where the DHT-11 provides humidity data. Now, these two sensors will then be hooked up to the Raspberry Pi's GPIO header, and this whole thing will be mounted inside of a watertight enclosure. And with my weather station being mounted outside, I really don't wanna to have to run data and power out there. So I'm just gonna use PoE. So power over ethernet carries the power that'll run the device over the ethernet line. So to achieve this, I'll be using my PoE switch and I'll be using a PoE splitter inside the weather station. So it'll split off the data for the Raspberry Pi and the five volt to power the Raspberry Pi. Now for the software side, I'll be using a Python script to read the sensor data and write that data to a file. Next, a program called WeWX will parse that file and generate HTML reports and then send those reports over FTP to my web server. WeWX also handles sending data to the Citizens Weather Observer Program. Now, CWAP is a public-private organization with three main goals. Those main goals being to collect weather data by citizens, to make this data available for weather services and homeland security, and to provide feedback to the data contributors so that they have tools to check and improve their data quality. Now, the physical setup is fairly simple. I'm going to have a watertight enclosure that's gonna house the Raspberry Pi, and I'll have those two sensor modules on the outside of the enclosure to report the data back to the Raspberry Pi. Now, direct sunlight is no good for temperature sensors, so how do you get an accurate temperature reading? You use what's called a solar radiation shield. Now, this does two things. It prevents direct sunlight from affecting the temperature readings, and it also allows water to run off the shield to prevent moisture from hanging out around the humidity sensor. Now, to make this solar radiation shield, I'm going to use a series of bowls attached one on top of each other with the sensor modules located somewhere here in the middle.
So I've got the two sensor modules attached to the Raspberry Pi. So now I just need to write a script to read the data from the sensors and then make it so that WeWX can then read it. So WeWX has a file parse option where it can actually pull the data it needs out of a file. So this script will be written in Python as are most all scripts written for the Raspberry Pi. And I am using two Adafruit libraries. I've got the DHT and the BMP for the two sensors. All right, so next up, I'm gonna open the data file that I'm going to be writing to. And this is just the default path that WeWX had. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. And since the two sensor modules both output temperature data, I'm actually just gonna be taking the average of the two and using that. And the temperature sensors output in Celsius, but since, since I'm in America, we're gonna use Fahrenheit, so we're gonna go ahead and convert that over. All right, so now that we've got our three variables, we're just gonna write those three variables to the data file. All right, so that's pretty much it. I wrote the script locally, so now I'm just gonna use SSH to move the script over to the Raspberry Pi. And to view the HTML ports, all I have to do is go to weather.deniscaprojects.com and this is the WeWX generated HTML port. And as you can see, it shows me the outside temperature, the humidity, and the barometric pressure. And it also generates these nice little graphs where you can track it over time. And so you can see right here where when I was testing it, I wrote just to the data file to verify that the numbers were being reported. So you get a constant number and then right here was where I actually got it working and then you get the actual data coming through. Now, WeWX also sends the weather reports to the Citizens Weather Observer Program and those weather reports can be viewed on findyou.com and you can also view the raw weather reports right here. So you can see the outside temperature is 51, humidity 19, and the barometric pressure in millibar. And so quickly going through the data that's being sent off, I can see right here it wasn't reporting the humidity, so I'm not really sure what that was all about. But other than that, all the data looks good. So all I really have to do now is I would like to clean up this, this page a little bit. Um, for example, the wind and the rain, I don't have any data for that. So I don't really have any need for those graphs. So it's, it's really just a matter of going in and editing the template. All right, guys. Well, I hope you liked that video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. <laughs> you know, if you like that video, you should subscribe to my channel. You too.